we're out in the full moon. The moon is of absolute paramount importance to those who practice witchcraft, as are all the planets and all everything in the celestial realm. Everything in the celestial realm and in the universe is of paramount importance. But for witches, the moon holds a very special place. She is, of course, Diana, and many witches would say that they pray to her. Many witches have rituals in which we draw down the moon, which is that symbol. You may have seen it quite often with a witch standing with her arms upright in a Y shape and drawing down the energy of the moon to her during ritual or an eshbat or other spell weaving. But moon is very important. If you can hear fireworks around me, it's because it's Guy Fawkes night here in England. Wow! I am seeing different things in the, in the camera with the, uh, with the moon. She's really listening to us at the moment, so I, I better pay attention to her. So, the moon and the full moon. Very, very powerful. The nights of the full moon are three, and in each one of those, we can perform a spell or a ritual. Traditionally, one, one of the nights is a healing spell or ritual. The second is usually money or family or anything specific that somebody is requesting. And the third night is usually a generic celebration or ritual, primarily for the earth. Remember, witches are beings of the earth and we have to adhere and look after the earth and nature first and foremost. It's absolutely crucial to, to us. us. So, yes, healing, yes, a spell for, for money or career or wherever you feel as though you need that extra energy during the ni three nights of the full moon and one of those nights of the th three nights of a full moon must be used for nature, the healing of the planet, the healing of our oceans, the care for flora and also fauna. We have to, as beings of nature, as protectors, as those beings, those mediators between the heaven and the elemental beings and the earth itself, we must take into consideration and acknowledge them. This night, if you can hear around me, it's Guy Fawkes Nights, like I said, which is in November, which is the 5th of November. Every moon, every full moon has a name. The month of November, the full moon in November, is called the morning moon. And that is primarily because the month of November is seen as a month of mourning. It is traditionally a month of grief and loss. It's the loss, ultimately, of summer and autumn. It is the final month of autumn and we're going into winter now. So it is a very, very depressing, damp, dark. It's the darkest month of the year if you live in the Northern Hemisphere. And it is very dreek, as my cousins in Scotland would say. But it is a very, very dark month. And it's nice to have celebrations such as Guy Fawkes or even Halloween or certain parties and bonfire nights to light up the night, the cold, dark night of November. We'll look further in to full moon and moon magic in the course in the British College of Witchcraft and Wizardry. This is just an introduction for you, but it's such a beautiful moon tonight that I wanted you to see it and to experience it and to feel it. So blessed be. I hope this course is whetting your appetite for witchcraft and you would like to go further into it please email me at the british college of witchcraft and wizardry and i'll be sure to help you thank you very much blessed be until next time